I always find grow outs to be fun. If you look at a lot of these uh, little white ducks, those are all my Muscovies. You can see over there, there's a whole lot. They're all around me as well as my geese. We have a bunch of American buffs and we got more little Muscovy ducks. Hi, buddy. You can see Muscovies are kind of jerks. That tail, uh, that tail being bloody, unfortunately, is very common with this breed when you raise, raise them in large numbers. Uh, Muscovies have something on their bill called a nail. It's that little point right there. And they use that nail to pick on each other. Uh, they'll rip feathers out of each other. That's why you see ducks with bald backs and messed up tails like the one a second ago. There's a big old drake. Um, so in the commercial industry, when they raise these in large numbers, what they do to stop that is on the, uh, on the ducklings, they'll actually, uh, de-beak them. So they'll take them, uh, as they hatch, the first day they hatch, they will cut off that nail, um, and they'll also pinion, so they'll cut off the very tip of the wing so they can't fly, uh, I don't particularly like the idea of de-beaking. Um, and aside from that, as ugly as they look right now, uh, they will grow out all their feathers again to look like a nice full feathered hen or drake. So both of these are, that's a hen, that's a hen, that's a hen as well. Uh, you know, and there's a, there's a big old drake. The big old black one back there is a drake. The one waving his head around and wagging his tail. He's a drake. So all these ducks that are full feathered look like those little tiny ones that are all uh, plucked. They, uh, they will absolutely get their feathers back out and look like normal ducks again. I don't know why he's so dirty. He must be the dirty one of the, of the flock. I don't know. Go take a bath, man. Gross. So, uh, you know, I got, I just wanted to show you, you know, I stood out here just a moment ago and had a look around and realized I was surrounded, absolutely surrounded by ducks, which, uh, which I don't mind. You know, I found that if, uh, if I'm walking around and I, you know, like act like I'm calling a cat because Drake's hiss, uh, if I act like I'm calling a cat, you know, like that noise, they tend to all pay attention to me. Uh, you know, unlike the ducks who quack, these guys seem to have a language where the drake hisses and the female pips a little bit. So if I walk around, you know, calling a cat, they seem to follow me, which uh, I guess is good since I can kind of control them, I guess. I don't know. So the other problem I have here is if you look at this chicken, She's kind of hunched up. Uh, right now, all of my chickens are infected with chicken body lice. And uh, unfortunately, it comes from wild birds and it's a common thing. I just didn't catch it. And uh, what ends up happening, look at that drake right there. See all that white stuff in his eye? That's called bubble eye. That means he's sick. He's got something wrong with him. Uh, so I'll probably have to catch him and give them something. Um, bubble eye can be caused by anything, dirt in the eye or uh, sickness or respiratory issue. Uh, usually around here it's it's dirt in the eyes. Um, otherwise everybody would have bubbly eye. And it's only his one eye it looks like, the eye that's closest to us. But uh, anyway back to chicken body lice. Chicken body lice cause a uh, decrease in egg production and they kind of get like lethargic because uh, it causes anemia they get into the uh, like around the root of the feather and they'll suck blood so I need to uh, capture all my chickens put them all in my quarantine pen see how she's real hunched up she just doesn't look good um, put them all in my quarantine pen and uh, sprinkle uh, seven dust on them and seven dust will cause 
all the lice to pretty much drop off in the next 10 minutes. Uh, now the thing is, once you treat them, you have to wait, I think it's 14 days, 10 to 14 days, something like that, uh, for the next generation, all the nits. So once you treat them, you have to treat them again, and the second treatment ought to eliminate them. So with as many birds as I got, it's somewhat difficult to catch all these chickens. So over the course of the next few days here, I'm going to snag them out of the chicken coop at night and throw them in my quarantine pen. Not actually throw them, gently place them into my quarantine pen. And uh, the next day I'll treat them all with that seven dust. Because, uh, yeah, chicken body lice isn't good. Uh, they look like little, they're hard to see. Uh, and a lot of people I suspect have them, they just don't know they have them when they complain their chickens ain't lying. But if you look real close at the stem of the feather, the part that comes out of the, the chicken itself, you'll see a little tiny golden colored uh, louse or bug. Uh, that's chicken body lice or northern foul mite or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but either way, seven dust treats them. Uh, Carborol is the active ingredient in seven dust. And unfortunately with Carborol, there's a, I think a week egg withdrawal. So you can't eat their eggs for a week. Uh, so yeah treat your chickens uh, ducks are not subject to chicken body lice they do not cling to the feathers uh, so i don't have to worry about them becoming infected uh, you can see they're just not good looking uh, so yeah there's that drake with the bubbly eye on the other side you can see this eye looks okay it's got a little bit of bubble action going on but not as much as the other one so anyway See you guys, have fun. I'm gonna work uh, on installing my boiler.